Hey everyone, it's Julia Treat from juliatreat.com. Thanks for joining me. I am thrilled to introduce you to one of my favorite people in the world. You know, I started this series where I'm introducing you to the people who helped me on my healing journey, my physical health, my emotional health, and definitely my spiritual health. So today I have one of my very close and dear friends, Lynn Wright, and let me tell you a little bit about her. So Lynn is a master's prepared nurse and certified naturopath with a doctorate in naturopathic ministry. She is also a metaphysical minister. She works primarily in cardiothoracics. Oh, she, I'm sorry, she worked primarily in cardiothoracics and nursing education, although she had the privilege of working everything from med surge to home health. Her last full-time position in nursing was as a critical care um, clinical nurse specialist, I'm sorry, and uh, she is a Reiki master teacher and certified in level one cranial temple activation. She thoroughly enjoys working with people on all levels of health, physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. And she owns her facility, Lynn's Healing Zone in Holly, Pennsylvania. And there they offer nutritional microscopy and bioterrain auditing. LED light therapy, some energy work, classes, workshops, and so much more. So I'm thrilled to introduce Lynn to you. Um, and uh, Lynn, welcome, welcome to my program. Thank you, Julia. It's wonderful to be here and to be able to talk to you and everyone else. Yay. I'm so thrilled to introduce everybody to you and what you do because I, I tell people all the time that you literally saved my life and you know that. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, for those, a lot of my listeners and followers know that I have Lyme disease, uh, undiagnosed or misdiagnosed for um, five, about five years, I believe. And I went to specialist after specialist trying to figure out what was wrong with me. And the last one actually was, um, I can't remember, some kind of endocrinologist or something. And every time I would go to a specialist, you know, I had anywhere from 40 to, to 60 symptoms at, at one point. And they, they could never find anything wrong with me. Or they would say, you know, take this drug. And if it works, we know that's what you have. And I was always like, no way. If you can't tell me what I have, I'm not going to take a pill so you can decide. Mm -hmm. But the last one said that I needed a psychiatrist because it was all in my head. And I was devastated. I mean, I was at the lowest of the low. And which turns out now I actually see so many clients that are exactly where I was. I was this big puzzle for the medical community. But I literally got down on my knees and prayed. And I was like, God, please, please bring me who can help me. Please bring who can help me. And to this day, I don't remember how I found out about you. But I know that I did shortly after that prayer. And I went to see you. And I want to talk about the tests that, the tests that you did, plural, that brought me into awareness of what could be happening or what was happening inside of my body and then getting in the right direction of getting my diagnosis of Lyme disease. So thank you for joining me again, Lynn. And would you tell everyone, kind of explain what it is you do with these tests and why they're so different? Absolutely. And uh, legally, I can't call it a test because oh, okay. I'm not a medical doctor. It's, it's always an audit or an experience but basically dark field microscopy has been around for ages. And a lot of docs in this country actually used it into the 1970s, along with traditional medical tests. But basically you're taking a finger stick of blood, putting it on a cover slip, putting the cover slip on the slide, the slide under the microscope, and the picture is projected onto a TV screen. And basically we're looking at your health from the inside out together. It should be a legal test for Lyme in my opinion, because you see five indicators, actually now six indicators in the live blood that indicate the presence of Lyme. And you can actually see the double-headed spirochetes, the bacteria that cause Lyme, Borrelia burgdorferi. And when you see double-headed spirochetes, it's only going to mean one of five things. Lyme, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, syphilis, or a handful of Pacific Island-based diseases. So four things, actually. That's what you're limited to. And Lyme should be diagnosed and treated by 
symptoms, not just by blood work, and Lyme literate MDs do, do that, but too many docs rely on the tests. And unfortunately, your story is not unique because I get so many people who have gone to a slew of specialists and they've been told that they have MS, Parkinson's, that it's a psychiatric disorder, that it's everything except Lyme because Lyme is not legally recognized. That's why Lyme literate medical docs get in so much trouble because they're treating a disease that doesn't legally exist. Acute Lyme exists where you're lucky enough to get like the bullseye rash, really bad joint pain. You go to the doctor, he does some tests and you get a positive result. But the tests are not accurate because what they're looking for are antibodies to the Lyme bacteria. And if you've gotten Lyme, it means your immune system is not working well. So if your immune system's not working, you're not making antibodies. Mm. And that's why it goes uncaught for so many people. It's yes. absolutely insane. And antibiotics are not the only ways to treat. Right. Um, mm -hmm. there, there are many things that can treat Lyme. Mm -hmm. I have an herbal protocol that I use. I recently started a new protocol based on a lot of research that's being done outside of the United States. And it uses larger doses than normal of colloidal silver and CBD oil. Mm -hmm. And that combination is so awesome for so many things. Arthritis, inflammation of many types, Lyme, the co-infections of Lyme like Borrelia, Bartonella, Babesia, um, anaplasmosis, everything. It's just been a wonderful treatment. But so many people do get misdiagnosed. And it, it's horrible because their lives are ruined. Financially, they can be ruined. They've gone to specialty centers that say they'll cure it. And okay, maybe they do, but how do you avoid every tick and mosquito and bed bug and gnat and flea? Because it's not just deer ticks. It's not just ticks. It's right. mosquitoes, bed bugs, gnats, spiders. It's even sexually transmitted and passed from mother to child in the placenta. Mm -hmm. And this is all in a bubble. Yeah, this is all stuff that I learned when, so when we did the test and it was one drop of blood from my finger, mm -hmm. I remembered what I used the term, I was infested with spirochetes. There were so many and that was one yeah. little drop of blood. And I even remember two of them carrying off my blood cell and I'm like, oh my gosh, you're like robbing me of all the nutrients. So mm -hmm. I did the antibiotic, you know, you referred me to a doctor in, in New York that mm -hmm. had the antibiotic treatment and I did it for a year and mm -hmm. it's was about triple the dosage I think it was very strong and we changed the antibiotics and it did I did get better but after that year I went right back to I mean I, they came back all of my symptoms and mm -hmm. from that point on and you're doing a new protocol than when I even saw you because mm -hmm. I've actually been line free for going almost three years like we're, I'm going on three years with zero Yay. symptoms Yay. so I say that because I want people to know it can happen. Like I call them miracles just because I don't think a miracle is some far off thing to, that can happen. But my miracle happened because number one, I never gave up. I would only envision myself healed and whole no matter what. And I did the natural pro protocol for a while. I also feel like people need to do a lot of soul digging and we need to heal the guilt and shame and resentment and anger and the things that we've carried over for years that that can actually vibrationally keep us sick as well. So, mm -hmm. So much to it. Yes. But, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I wanted to, um, I know there is, you know, things. So if I say the wrong word, please correct me like you did with test. Mm -hmm. I know it's very, um, we have to tip, not tiptoe around things, but yep. we can mm -hmm. say certain things and that's okay. Um, <clears throat> um, where was I going to go next with this? So I want to know, so I get so many clients that I might do a reading for, and it comes out that they need to get, they need to come to you or they, someone that does what you do and um, get tested. And I might suggest, hey, you're a puzzle to the medical community. So they may have given you this diagnosis, but I'm getting that there might be more that they haven't diagnosed yet. And they, and I'm telling you, they always say, you're right. Like I have all these things. And I always, I'm always curious on, and we're not the medical field. Like the, I just wondered how can, I don't understand you get a diagnosis yet. You still haven't covered everything going on with them. Blows me away. <laughs> so we don't have an answer for that. <laughs> so 
<laughs> um, I don't know that that was a question, but my question is, um, there, number one, I want, because this is really big, since it helped me so much and understand what was wrong with me, I really want people to be aware, number one, that there might be something more going on than they thought, and that it is fixable and treatable, and that's what coming to you or someone like that does what you do, you're about taking your body back. You're not about, I'm going to give you a Band-Aid so you feel better. Like, I'm going to give you medicine so your joint pain goes away, but you still have the issues in the joints. You know what I mean? Right. So mm -hmm. can you explain that, how you are so different than... Yeah, well, that's what naturopathy is all about. It's about hitting things at the ground level and not Band-Aiding things and not just making sure the numbers look pretty. Yeah. Because so many people come to me and they say, my blood works perfect. All the numbers are great, but I feel terrible. And the other thing to remember is all illnesses, every single illness out there has an emotional base. Mm -hmm. It's, and it can be cured. It doesn't matter what traditional medicine or the researchers say, many things can be cured that are supposedly incurable. Have you ever looked up the meaning of tick as like a totem animal you know how you can put in totem animal gopher and yeah, then all the time, time. All the I, time. Do I never have put tick tick is something or someone a situation or a person getting under your skin no. getting under your skin for so long that you've now manifested physical symptoms mm -hmm. it's not that the physical symptoms aren't real that's not what i'm saying they're absolutely real but like any other illness, it's there to teach us something. Yeah. And what it's teaching us is we can't let things get under our skin. You know, I like want to say something people. along those lines too, that I, I'm glad you brought up the whole vibrational thing and it, emotions and vibration and, and keeping us sick because, um, you know, you think about all the people that have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Fibromyalgia? <laughs> no, it's... um like their immune system attacking themselves, like fibromyalgia. Oh, or, the supposed autoimmune. Okay, because, and that'll be in another episode, by the way. We'll talk about that again, so everyone, like, right. stay tuned. But that is truly, you have to do the deep digging work because there is a re either self-loathing, mm -hmm. extreme guilt, shame. I mean, you think about vibrationally that you, there's something inside that you can't stand so much about yourself. I just re recently realized this about myself that you're literally attacking yourself. You get it? I mean, there's gonna, I mean, it's broader than that, but. Right. Um, I mean, going back to Lyme, I feel vibrationally, I was at such a low place with mm -hmm. my emotions, my whole lifetime, things that had happened that I felt bad about. Um, mm -hmm. And so it put me in that state, that vibrational state of I could get sick, that sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there are many ways to deal with it, to fix the physical body and then work on the emotional and the mental and the spiritual and everything else. That's where I, you know, I started your protocol, which helped me begin to kill the, I call them the little bastards. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good name for them. Fire repeat bastards. And then I'll never forget when you told me, I think, I don't know if I'm, I might paraphrase, but you said when you eat sugar, it actually helps them multiply. Yeah. So I was like, oh, hell no, I'm not going to help them have babies. Like I used to think that. <laughs> But your protocol helped me begin to get it under control. And mm -hmm. then I continued with the emotional part of it. And for mm -hmm. me, and it's different for everyone. I want everyone yes. watching to it's different for everyone. I stopped all natural stuff I did for, and then I finished by healing in my insides, my heart, my right. soul. Mm -hmm. And um, that is when I truly broke free from it. But I don't believe I could have done it without the natural protocol, you know, mm -hmm. getting me to that point. Mm -hmm. So I know when people come, oops, I know, I know when people come, I always tell them if I refer them or, or send them to you mm -hmm. or suggest it, that number one, they take someone with them if they can, because it's a lot of information to take in yes. um, and that they're going to know more about themselves than they've ever known before and not to get overwhelmed because you are so comprehensive, like you cover so much and you tell them everything. But then it's, it's like steps. So you do this and this. You do yes. each thing as you can. It's not like, I have to change my entire life like in 24 hours. It's no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and you're so good at pointing out, you know what? Just start with this. Or if money's tight, start with this. Like, let's just start you on a, a certain path. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's why now I'm, I'm using mainly the protocol of the colloidal silver and the CBD oil. 
and then we do that for like a month if you're not getting the results you want completely then we'll add in some of the other herbal things but that's a very simple protocol and it works for so many different people can you just tell us real quick what colloidal silver is and what cbd oil is for people that don't know colloidal silver is a natural antibiotic and the only brand that I recommend, and I have to say this, is Earthborn, because you don't want to end up with Argyria, which is where you turn blue. It's permanent. It never goes away. And the particle size is small enough to filter through your kidneys, so that's the best one. But it's a natural antibiotic. It also has antiviral, antifungal, and to a degree, antiparasitic properties. And CBD oil is made from marijuana or hemp. Okay. And it's the non-hallucinogenic. There's no THC in it. It's just a potent anti-inflammatory, antioxidant that works in a way that researchers aren't even sure of. There's no, like, they don't know exactly how it works. They just know it does. Cool. And it's That's legal great. in all 50 states. There are better brands than others, and I guide people to which brands are the best. Right. But, um, we'll talk about that, how people can get a hold of you. Um, so here's the thing I want to point out, though. Your, mm -hmm. What you do is such a gift. It, it doesn't matter if you have Lyme or not. You are all about um, improving your life by improving what's happening inside of your body. And it, it, it's for long-term stuff. Like, I have friends that used to laugh at me because the stuff that I was doing, and I go, and, and yet they're, I'll be honest, popping pills and getting their next prescription. And I'm like, because I'm... I maintain my health. I'm not going uh -huh. to take that and it's going to cover up what's actually happening right. inside. Mm -hmm. So um, now I want to know too, for people that can't come to you in person, because you're here in Northeast PA, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. can they get the blood test still done by you or what, what happens there? They can. I can do the live and dried blood remotely. I send out a kit with full instructions and they do need to call me when they're going to do it so I can also walk them through the process. It has to be sent express mail back to me so that I can get the blood while it is still live. Okay. Um, there are ways to find practitioners of what I do. There's a website called um, betterblood.net. They list all the microscopists in the world, in oh, every cool. country. Okay. Um, some work with Lyme, some don't. I wrote this book about Lyme, um, and it, it's got a lot of good information in it, including symptoms on the back. The symptoms the are basically anything you can think of. The title of the book is Managing Lyme Disease Successfully. And where do they find that book? Um, generally, it's not in bookstores. You can order it through me. or What's your website? lynnshealingzone.com all one word l-y-n-n-s healingzone.com and my number is 570-234-8568 and you can call or text on that number awesome awesome all right so um i want to make sure everyone knows that you know this is a series that we're going to start where um because i share so much of the things i learned from you with mm -hmm. clients of mine. And right. I am also going to point out, I'm just gonna say, a lot of medical field does not like this. They don't, no. and I'm, uh, own personal story here. Uh, I had a woman come to me who had been diagnosed with MS and she was very young and she was in a wheelchair and so sick. And I, I mean, no quality of life. And um, I mean, it, she came for a reading of would I ever heal? And it, I actually received that she needed to get checked for Lyme. And her mother was with her and said, you know, she's been checked three times. And I go, but it's a special test just to, just to make sure, like just to get another opinion. Well, I guess she went back and told her doctor that, hey, I, I don't know how it came out. I saw this medium that told me to get a, te a Lyme test. I don't know. I didn't ask that part. But mm -hmm. next thing you know, um, the doctor called and yelled at me and I think I told you that story mm -hmm. and he told me it's a local doctor and um, he said if you ever ever tell any other client of mine to get another test I will report you or something I'm like where in the hell is he gonna report me <laughs> <laughs> I thought holy cow I've never dealt with that and I maybe you have before mm -hmm. but um, yes I 
I don't know if she ever went and got it tested, but I will never shut up about it. If I get something that someone needs to get tested for Lyme and get this test by a naturopath, by someone that does what you do, I will always tell them it will never, I will never stop. But mm -hmm. I want to point out for those of anyone watching this, like if you go back and ask your doctor, should I have this done? I, I just want you to know you may not get a positive response. You definitely won't get a positive <laughs> response. Yeah. And I want everyone to know that. So mm -hmm. it is so important for us to be sharing this, mm -hmm. about this and this work because mm -hmm. everyone, please listen to me. Like it, it's time to take our bodies back. It's time to stop taking all the crap that is just covering up what's actually happening inside because what mm -hmm. happens is you just get sicker and sicker and then they have to up your meds or now you're using a cane because you can't walk. Like there's right. so much that you can do. And I also want to point out, I've talked to people and Lynn, you have seen people that are so far into life, mm -hmm. but it still reverses. Like they still get stuff back. Yes, absolutely. Can you talk about that too, how you can get things back that you thought you lost and were gone, whether it's mobility or, or whatever. Absolutely. Um, once you take care of the inflammation that the spirochete is causing, your health definitely improves. Even if you have neuroborreliosis, neurological Lyme disease, things absolutely can improve. Maybe you won't get 100%, maybe you'll get 95%, but there's always a way to improve it. And what you had said about the doctors not really being on board with this, that's absolutely true. And I'm not totally against conventional medicine. If I break my leg, I'm not gonna see you, I'm not gonna come to me, I'm gonna go to a hospital. But too many times they are just not open to other things. And one thing that came up on my Facebook page for the Healing Zone was that medical science has no way of treating you spiritually. If you ask your doctor, well, what should I do for my spiritual health? He's probably gonna look at you like you have three heads. Mm -hmm. So the body isn't just the body. And medical science, I think, forgot that a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. It, and I'm sure you're like me. I feel this huge shift that we're shifting back into yes. a more holistic approach mm -hmm. and because people are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And, yes. you know, even all of the, you know, I talk about the rainbow kids and the light workers being here and coming and they will not do well in this, this, the way it is with the meds and all mm -hmm. this. Um, and, you know, for future episodes, I can so see us talking about like Lyme's connection with autism. Mm hmm um, I mean, I've had families I've worked with, I think I even sent them to you when I was mm -hmm. seeing them for speech therapy and yes. ended up finding out that their, their child had Lyme and started the protocol and their Lyme symptoms actually started either disappearing or improving, whatever the word right. is. Mm -hmm. So it can be tied to Parkinson's. Yep. To Fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue. In MS, there's no way to differentiate placking on the brain from the protoplasts or biofilms that are caused by Lyme. Right. Until you're dead and they do an autopsy. And MS is one of those, correct me if I'm wrong, where they just start treating you with a medication to see if Pretty you much. feel better? Okay. Considered autoimmune, and I personally don't believe there is such a thing as autoimmune disease. Yeah. Um, so let me think what else I was going to. Oh, so even I even want to clarify that it can cause, Lyme can cause mental disorders like bipolar. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I've had people that I've seen, they have this diagnosis of bipolar and they go to uh -huh. see you or someone else and they find out and they get the treatment and it, they start balancing out. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, believe me, that last specialist, when he told me, you need to go to a psychiatrist, I am not kidding. This is what I said. I said, I'm going to have to because I'm going to kill the next person that says that. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to kill someone. But I was so frustrated. Yeah. I, was I was in deep depression. I was... Now, and, and at the time, you know, I had a private practice as a speech pathologist and I had to close it because I couldn't even go to work. I was in so much pain. I was so fatigued. Anyway, the list of Lyme disease symptoms is long, Extreme. And, right? You can have one or two, or you can have 60 or however many there are. Yeah. And then there are the co-infections, which yeah. is a whole different basket. The only ones I didn't have, honestly, were the ones that only men could have. Yeah. I mean, I had been, because I had chronic, and you do not have to have that bullseye. Let's make sure that everyone hears Oh, no, that. absolutely not. The first thing that people say to me when I say, you know, I think I'm getting that you should go to my naturopath land. And by the way, I don't get anything for that. So I'm not getting a spiff for this. 
it comes in your readings and believe me, you need to go to her for a reason. There's some reason you're supposed to go there. It does not come out for everybody, but you know, they'll say, Oh no, I never had the bulls. And I'm like, well, that doesn't matter. No. And so <clears throat> So I know. What doctors don't tell people too is that if you do have the bullseye, you absolutely positively do have Lyme. Mm, yeah. Bullseye equals Lyme. Okay, my dear. So I know we could talk forever, <laughs> um, but I think we'll kind of close off there. At least we plan to see with some people. It might help people start understanding. I, but instead of this being, I don't want this to be like, oh God, it's doomsday. I have Lyme. It's like, oh my absolutely God, not. this is, this could be treatable. I could be like Julia and be free of my symptoms completely. Oh my God, there's hope. Cancer doesn't have to be, oh my God, this is the end. People right. need to understand that you have more control over your body than you think you do. Absolutely, I love that. That's a perfect statement. Um, so I, I love all the tips that you gave me over the years, you know, because by the way, everyone, I, I honestly don't go to doctors unless, I mean, it, recently I had to go get antibiotics because I had an eight week upper respiratory thing. Mm -hmm. I, Lynn is my go-to person. She's my naturopath. She's who's I, who I've seen for several years now. Um, and my entire family goes to her now. So my um, boyfriend and his family. But what I want to talk about is little tips that you gave me along the way. Like just mm -hmm. adding sea salt to my water. Right. Because most people are mineral deficient. And you have to drink at least half your body weight in mm -hmm. ounces of water every day. Right. So let's talk about... Okay. Let's talk about leaving them with one thing. Now I put organic lemon slices in mine mm -hmm. at room temperature mm -hmm. and then I put it in, I put sea salt in it. So that's is that a good combination. That is a good combination. Okay. Yes. And I, most people don't realize that they're actually dehydrated mm -hmm. and especially yeah. with lime. I mean, I, I would drink the water, but then I'd be right in the bathroom, you know, you're just that's why you do the salt because that helps your body hold on to the water right and it's good salt. salt yes if it's good salt it's not white and it's sea himalayan or kosher or celtic that does not cause swelling and high blood pressure table right. salt will but not the good salts yes you have to drink the water so make sure you hear that right you're not using the regular table salt you're getting no. sea salt the himalayan the what yep. you say, celtic it has to have a color the only one you can really safely buy in a supermarket is Himalayan. Yeah, and that's what I use. Mm -hmm. um, sea salt should look like sand with little flecks of color in it. And Celtic salt is naturally gray. Okay. So it's not white. And can you, can you describe why it would be more beneficial to have room temperature over cold water? There's, that's really personal or is that preference. Like, oh, okay, personal good. I didn't preference. Know There's no, some people think you have to get up in the morning and drink a, a glass of hot water. You don't need to do that. Okay. It's just the water. Really cold can be not good for your teeth. Um, if you have weak enamel, it can cause cracks to form in your teeth. But other than that, there's no reason that you have to have water that's a particular temperature. Okay. And I'm always learning from you, I swear. And um, the um, organic lemon slices, um, it, can you explain how that might be beneficial or is that What the lemon water does is help balance your pH. It helps keep your liver clean and it helps your kidneys work better. And it's not like you're making lemonade. You just want to put in enough lemon so you can taste it. Yeah, and that's what I do. And so I drink that every day and mm -hmm. I do not drink a glass of water without my sea salt in it. And <laughs> I, and it, now that I'm, you know, free of Lyme symptoms, mm -hmm. it's still, if I don't drink enough water, um, you know, you'll start feeling tired or fatigued because you are dehydrated. Right. Yeah. So I make sure, I mean, I drink so much water, so. That's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, this is so much fun. Yes, yeah, so I had a great time. Again, can you give them your website and your phone number and the name of your book? Yes. The website is lynnshealingzone.com. The phone number is 570-234-8568, and the book is Managing Lyme Disease Successfully. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. For Thank you. And um, everyone, be sure you keep a lookout for the interviews with Lynn, because she is telling you, this lady, I mean, I think, honestly, Lynn, like, some people don't get you because you're so intelligent, like you know so much, <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, everyone, if you're listening to my podcast, please uh, rate and review if you get a second. If you're watching on YouTube, put a comment, ask a question. We'll answer them, whatever is needed. Sure. And we're here to help you. We thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. God bless. Thank you.